Today I will show you how to make one frame glitch effects. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so what are one frame glitch effects? Well, one frame glitch effects are basically when you press ctrl Y, basically making a new adjustment layer and you cut it up by pressing ctrl shift D. So let's scroll down and press ctrl shift D here and have one frame like this and you here add like an effect that distorts your video a bit so that it looks kind of cool, kind of glitchy, you know. Uh, a great example is, uh, I guess the most popular one is the invert. Now with invert, you will have a really nice transition. So before it looks dark and then and it goes like this so yeah you see this is a very popular transition and i really like it as well and there are a lot of invert modes to mess around with and one of my favorite combinations with invert is actually that deep glow below it now that will basically glow like that it is kind of a crazy glow but you basically get the gist of it now you can make one thing glitches without plugins uh, deep glow is a plugin but invert is not and i really recommend to mess around a lot with deep glow and you can use the one frame glitches for music videos edits whatever promotional videos honestly guys one frame glitches are my favorite effects and i use them wherever i can can. it's that important so invert is like one of the most popular ones another one is colorama now for colorama you will get a look like this but you can go to input phase and here you can make the phase shift kind of different uh, so what you can do with this is actually like have colorama like maybe right here let's press ctrl d to duplicate this letter and drag it here and here let's actually delete it and here we can add like invert so what the logic is is basically have two one frame glitches like this and you can press ctrl d and you can and you can even make it like this now i don't know if this is the coolest color for this so you can actually also add deep glow here and that will actually look cool so yeah that is a pretty cool glitch but now i kind of want to show you some of the one frame glitch hacks i guess i could call it i don't know how to call it so yeah we can actually delete the deep glow here uh, this i discovered a couple of years ago so it's like if you add uh, some warp effect i guess and now let's add signal actually and we can use it to warp so we can go to low modulation and turn off tape errors we don't want that now and we can go to tv distortion and here let's make the fig distortion to like 58 yeah so let's have like a distortion you can add other effects that make this kind of distortion and a little neat trick to do here is take out this pen tool draw somewhat like this line i guess and draw here here and here so now it's going to distort only this part of the video and it's going to be like a one frame glitch like this now this is actually very popular in edits now for these type of distortions you probably usually want more than just one of this effect so after it you will need to have another one frame glitch so for example like a invert but below this layer i actually would also recommend to add like deep or something to make it pop out a bit more you know so yeah like that so now it instantly pops out a bit more and that actually looks like a glitch a bit but another thing i would recommend for you to do is press ctrl to y yeah just cut this layer again to one frame like this and add it below and this is has become one of my favorite ways to do this is to add motion tile and here you want to make the motion tile center like higher like one eight maybe something like that yeah like this so that will look like a really fast glitch now after this glitch i would really recommend to add like invert so i'm gonna copy and paste this actually and here i would add invert so it's like a really nice combination like first you have like a glitch like this then invert and then you can do like a kind of a funny thing so you can press ctrl d on this layer with the signal put it to the last right here and here we can press m and delete the mask so this glitch will basically be like this so first it's like not finished then it's an invert and then it's finished so yeah this will look actually insane yeah one of my favorite one frame glitches right here uh i could also recommend to press ctrl to y i'm gonna cut this adjustment layer up to just how many frames we have so three for the glitches and here let's add u saturation and i like to make the master saturation kind of lower so like minus 44 let's make it a bit more cinematic i guess i don't know and also i like to add s grain here yeah, and let's make the color amplitude a bit higher and the color frequency kind of higher. And I think this will already look really cool. Yeah, just an amazing transition. Now that is that is like perfected one frame glitches right there. So basically like mess around with the masks. You don't have to make the mask up. You can make it down. You can actually even do this. You, you can press control D uh, and you can take, just take this and drag it down a bit down like this. And here you can add like different effects. So you can like delete it. Let's add maybe like invert here. You can also do this. Uh, wait, let's position it a bit uh, better, I guess. Yeah, like you can add like layers on this, you know, press control D again and just like layered it as well. Let's actually scale it up a bit. And here you can add like Colorama, I guess, and also maybe Deep Glow. Now this needs some workarounds, but you know what I mean? Like this is how a lot of the one frame glitches are actually done, just by layering different masks. This is also a really cool one frame glitch. So I also have different examples for other clips. I have already pre-made them, I guess. So I added S grain on top of uh, the last one frame glitches here 
layer and I duplicated the layer. So, you know, uh, this, this effect that we made. And here I actually like to add threshold and below it add the equal of the normal settings. Make sure the input is threshold 0% as well. So this is how it looks. This is also a really cool one frame glitch. And below it, I also added CC vignette. So it kind of keeps the glow just in the middle and it makes for a crazy one frame glitch. And below it, I added motion tile. And this time I made the motion tile center lower. So at the start, it was like 540. But here I just made it lower. Yeah, like that. And then after that effect, I added a threshold and typical again and a CC vignette below it. And the last effect I added invert. Invert is such a powerful one frame glitch. Like really make sure to use it. I almost use it all the time just for the one frame glitches. And yeah, that is a really cool one frame glitch you get. So to recap, like you can press control to Y and like you can really add threshold and below it add deep glow. Press control to Y, uh, press control shift D, you know, to cut it. Have it at one frame, press control D, go to the layer below, delete all of the effects, you know, add CC vignette. I just make the scale kind of something like this. And this will create for a cool adjustment layer. And, and another one you can add uh, here is like, you can add either motion tile and there's another effect called offset. Uh, so this will do basically the same thing. Like you can drag this down like this. And uh, this is uh, used a lot of in like VHS emulators as well, like this offset effect. And yeah, the offset is definitely one of my favorite uh, one frame glitches. And yeah, we'll have like this one frame glitch. And after that, you can also copy and paste these two layers to add them here. And after that, you will need to add invert and you will have a really cool one frame glitch transition. Uh, I found another one frame glitch. So here I made it with signal. So, but here I made the fine distortion in the TV distortion settings to 10, distortion speed to 47 and distortion and roll speed to 151. So before it was like this and after like that, after that effect, I also added signal, but here I made a fake distortion like this. That. I just wanted to add like a signal glitch, you know, and after that also the classic invert, but here I also added some deep glow and black and white, but basically you could just do it just with the invert and it will still look just cool. Like, yeah, you only, you only basically need invert here. So that's how this transition was made here. I also added another signal effect and then the TV distortion. I just made it exactly like the same here. And before it, I had an effect from my uh, Flickr presets pack, which you can check out on povicos.com. It's basically this uh, pack that gives you like dark flickers or just intense, heavy, intense flickers. But I'm going to actually uh, uncheck this and this kind of want to show you what you can actually do with this. So you can press control Y and you can type Flickr Flicker presets if you have it. Oh yeah, you can just like flicker, I'm sorry. So here you can add like flicker heavy one and it will look like this, but you can press control D to duplicate this layer. And now it will flicker very heavily towards the next clip where we have our transitions. So the, I like to use flicker effects before one frame glitch transitions as well. This is kind of like a little trick I like to do. I have plenty of more flicker effects here in the pack. It will take a very long time for me to show you all of these. So I would really just recommend to check out the flicker presets back. If you also want, I have a $5 discount code for supporting the channel, which is called Povicas. Use it to save $5 off on the Flickr pieces pack. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. Make sure to mess around with way more different effects. I barely got to cover a couple of effects. Like you can add wave warps, you can add S warp waves, you can add, I mean, you can add so many more. It's insane. So I, I can't, it would be hard for me to tell you about all of them. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.